from around the globe. It's the Cube with digital coverage of AWS reInvent 2020. Special coverage sponsored by AWS Worldwide Public Sector. Hello and welcome back to theCUBE's virtual coverage of AWS reInvent 2020. Normally we're there in person, this year we're remote because of the pandemic and all that going on with the virtual event, three weeks coverage here and special coverage of public sector. Got a great guest, Lorraine Bassett, Chief of Staff in Public Sector for Sandy Carter at AWS. Thanks for joining us. Hey John, and thank you very much for the invitation. It's really good to be here. We've had great uh, conversations with Sandy Carter and her team, an awards program, really just last year, just a lot of success stories. Now with public sector and the pandemic, there's been just a lot of things going on where the technology has pulled you know, from the future to present and the public sector needs it the most. This is a key thing. What's your role there? How are you working with Sandy and the team? Take a minute to explain what your background is and your current role. So um, I recently joined uh, Sandy Carter's team as a chief of staff and business advisor. And originally, um, just before then, led up the, uh, the go to market strategy for the internet of things and smart cities in the public sector. So bringing that experience and expertise into Sandy's team uh, and really being able to help provide guidance uh, and, and, and advise where necessary. I think that's, it's going to add value to, to the core team. Yeah, and certainly there's just been a massive demand. We've been reporting on it really since February, just the surge of just the acceleration of oh, digital yeah. transformation in the public sector across the board from education to military and agencies, just amazing. Um, a lot of things going on yes. here at reInvent. Can you tell me more about this new services inception go-to-market team? Because this is new. Take a minute to explain. Yeah, it is new and, it, and, it, and it's really timely and, a, and a, a really, a pivotal um, new service that we're adding in and our, our new service team that we're creating. So it's really focused on partners. Uh, so, uh, you know, we've, it's really has a core objective to develop strategy and execute plans for the rollout of new priority services and features across AWS's public sector partner teams. So really the, the new inception, the new services inception team its goal is to really be the connection point and the feedback loop for partners with our AWS service teams, our service go-to-market teams and our worldwide public sector teams. We really want to make that transition and that cycle as easy as possible. Ultimately, the new services inception team's objective is really we're going to be able to deliver AWS services to public sector partners and our customers by building connections between all of our services, all our service launches, our public sector partners, and I think really pivotal to this is in all geos, regardless of the size of the partners and the types. So, you know, let me just close that out to say, you know, our strategy, it's focus on new services, you know, either in private or if the service is in pre-GA, you know, that resonate more so in the public sector. And really our goal overall is to identify, you know, monetization paths, enable them as necessary, building uh, marketing and go-to-market assets and helping evangelize the service and increase adoption. The number one question is going to ask is why now? What's behind this motivation? Can you just add some commentary to why now? Is it the pandemic? Is it all things coming together? Is it cloud scale? I mean, what's what's the, what's the motivation? Why now? Well, you know, we, you know, AWS, you know, we release, we have a lot of new services um, that, yeah, and our partners need to, have visibility into these services early. And yes, you're right. There's also been a lot of change and new demand that we hadn't seen before with, uh, you know, really just in 2020 has been really interesting on the types of different new news cases that we're seeing. So, you know, we have new services that we want to be able to bring to market. And uh, so, you know, and our public sector partners, it's long been part of our AWS beta program. So that's nothing new. So but what this team is aiming to do is really formalize that process and the program to ensure that we're really maximizing participation from public sector partners. Um, you know, how do we do this or how do we do this differently? It's really ensure that our partners are aware of new services that are coming down the road that could impact business or impact their business heavily yeah. and work closely with them to identify the joint yeah. value proposition develop go-to-market content and provide value. And you're right, John, right? This is, 
it's all of the above, but uh, and it's really how we enable you know customers uh, based on everything that we've learned and what they need for twenty you know as we go into twenty twenty one. Okay, so here's the the million dollar question. I'm a partner. Pretend I'm a partner. What's in it for me? Am I making more money? Am I going to go oh, faster? Yeah. What's the benefits to me as a partner? So this is, you know, there there are, so you're right, there are, there are a lot of really good benefits. And so there's a couple that come to mind straight away. So let's just, let's just pull out kind of really what's going to be important to the customers, uh, uh, to the partners first, right? Firstly, so being part of a formal beta program enables first to market, um, which should lead to market differentiation uh, on launch. So this early, early release and early visibility and early positioning is really critical, I think, to our partners. Uh, secondly, there's an ability to influence roadmap early on through our feedback cycle. So all of our partners who work with us know that we're we're all about innovation. We need to hear what is going on with our customers and with our partners and what we need to do to improve. So, you know, that feedback cycle is key. And thirdly, you know, dedic you know, where as you launch and go to market you will have access to, or partners have access to dedicated launch specialist team that's assigned specifically to work with you on those on those new services. And lastly, access to technical and sales expertise, the sales expertise that will really help drive go-to-market motions. But, you know, I just, it is, I think, more than that. And it, uh, there is an ability to diversify revenue streams. There is an ability to upsell and cross-sell um, based on, on key learnings and and really as we as we grow and learn from the new services you can build new business models um, through go joint go to market planning you know and really just take in some of the key benefits that the the new services inception team can offer so what's the requirements to get in all partners is there prereqs um is it a wait list can you just give in kind of quick detail on how it works and how do people engage, how do the partners engage with the program? Yeah, no, that's a good question. So really any APN tier partner, consulting and technology partner that is really willing to commit to working with us is committed to testing, uh, developing public sector partner and customer references and providing regular feedback. I mean, it, it really, this is all about innovation. So. We don't want to be specific and, and narrow on the partners who want to drive these, um, who want to be able to drive these new services. What does a successful launch look like when you have your partners engaged, things are happening, the service, new service team comes in, what's it look like? Take us through uh, what success looks like here. Well, success. So I think if we just kind of work backwards from this success, you know, it's really, it's in our culture to be customer obsessed. Um, so really success is, it's key to listen to our partners and customers really, to help us build um, what that successful model would look like. So there's two questions we'd come up with is what services do we engage and what partners should we engage? And that will help maximize our ability to be successful. So the what services we engage uh, is, is linked to what resonates most for the public sector ecosystem, you know, and the customers. So it also is looking at the most pressing challenges that customers are facing, and also how the new service can help unlock value. So that's success around the services. Now, success around partners is, you know, what partners to engage that, you know, to uh, that is around determining the ideal partner profile, for example, for a service. And we do that uh, by looking at competencies, references, vertical focus, and the customer base. And so, you know, going back to your original question about what is success, it really is a strong alignment with partners and the services that really maximize the, you know, um, the strength of our go-to-market together. Lorraine, right, thanks so much for explaining the new services inception go-to-market team and capabilities. Um, final question, where can people learn more information and get engaged. Can you share any data on on what can they do? So the the fastest path is to engage with the account team at AWS and our partner development managers. Uh, and there, you know, there you can learn to and how to participate in future new service launches and facilitate introductions, you know, between us, you know, between the new inceptions team, uh, so that we can get to know you. 
Lorraine Bassett, Chief of Staff for AWS Public Sector Partners. Great to have you on. Looking forward to hearing more for how it's going with Sandy. I know there's a lot of growth, there's a lot of action <laughs> happening with the pandemic. Public sector has an awakening. They realize that now's the best time to pivot. All those years of living in the antiquated old world is now coming yeah. to fruition. Thank you. Yeah, this is a very exciting time. Thank you very much, John. Yeah, it's going really to be massive change it. and super exciting. Public sector is going yes. to be moving very, very fast. Thanks for, for coming, I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, it's theCUBE's coverage. I'm John Furrier. We are theCUBE virtual this year. We're not in person. This is part of AWS. Been through all three weeks we've been here, deep, doing deep dives, getting all the conversations. Thanks for watching.